Hello, I'm Karen Parry, Manager of Information Services at the East Brunswick Public Library. I'm joined today by Assemblywoman Nancy Pinkin. Um, Nancy is also from East Brunswick. Welcome, Assemblywoman. Thank and you. And we're here to talk today about a regional job fair that will be happening at the library on Tuesday, December 1st. So, Assemblywoman, could you please tell me a little bit about what is the purpose of the job fair, who will be there, and what is the role that you hope to accomplish from the job fair? Well, number one, we want to be sure that people are able to have a job. I mean, if you're going to prosper and be able to take care of your family, the most important thing is having some means of supporting them. So, you know, the economy, we went through a period where it was very difficult. Many people were um, having difficulty getting jobs, and the library actually uh, was able to deal with that by coming up with uh, ways to not only help their own budget but to help people in the public by um, having economic development programs and having the business center and being involved with businesses in the community and with people that were looking for jobs to come in and get resumes and have them critiqued and get services to help individuals to get a job. So we thought we would parlay our ability to bring people together and uh, have a job fair and combine that with the library since you're already doing the business development and the work with the individuals to get resumes and to get assistance with how best to apply for a job and to have the skills to be successful at getting a job. So we uh, were, we're fortunate to be able to now have the attention to get to it. It takes a lot of time and staff to organize it. We're working with the chambers, the regional Middlesex County Regional Chamber and some of the other chambers. I'd like to also bring in some of the um, diversity chambers. We have an Asian chamber, so we have a number of uh, chambers that are culturally based as well. And so I like to leverage all groups together so that we can have a greater outcome whenever I can, and this seems like the perfect opportunity to do that. But our bottom goal is to make sure people are employed. You know, we have young people coming out of college. Many of them have a lot of debt. They don't have the ability to get a good enough job to not only sustain themselves, but to pay off their debt. And we have people that are at the end of the spectrum where maybe they're, you know, a little bit later in their career, for late 40s, 50s, or even 60s that have been downsized because of their skills, but yet they have a lot to offer and they still need to sustain themselves and their family. So, you know, all of these different groups are the groups that anything we can do to boost their ability to get a job, we're, we're happy to try to do that. That sounds like such a beneficial program to the community. Please tell me a little bit about who will be participating and from what industries? Well, this is going to cover a diverse uh, employer group, so it will be, you know, there's a lot of jobs in healthcare right now, so it will include JFK Medical Center. I believe it will include some of the uh, home health. Lorelli is an employment agency. It will include them. Eden um, Autism Program will also have uh, a booth there. We will have um, some utility companies. Most people think of utilities as really good jobs, so we do have South Jersey Gas and a number of other utilities that will be participating. We will also have somebody from Rutgers University with the Small Business Development Program will also be participating. We've been trying to do more with Rutgers just because it's a great asset for Middlesex County, so any way we can pull them into the business community to benefit our residents, we're, we're trying to work with them on that. We also have Bright Horizons, the daycare center, um, Rutgers uh, University Extension School, and uh, any, any, any uh, businesses that want to participate, there's no fee for them. There's no fee for the individuals that are looking for a job. This is totally free on, on all ends. It's just really bringing together the resources. Any businesses that want to sign up and have those jobs that people are looking for that they can't find somebody to do, we would like them to reach out to our office as well. That's great. Nancy, so there's no cost to attend and no cost for potential employers to right. attend. Right, there's no cost at all. And let me just ask you one other question. Where can people find out more about this exciting job fair? Well, they can contact my legislative office. Our number is 732-548-1406. They could look it up online, and I think the number's going to be on the bottom of the screen today, but they can... Um, 
contact our office. We'll be happy to help them, whether they're a vendor, if there's somebody who wants to. You know, I hear all the time people, I think even in East Brunswick Township, they were looking for a mechanic for a long time. And people think there are no jobs, but there are jobs out there, but we just have not connected the people with the jobs. So, um, you know, it just really helps people to come together to have that opportunity. Well, thank you so much for joining us, and I hope the community will all come out on Tuesday, December 1st for the job fair. And by the way, I want to say that you don't have to be from East Brunswick to come to the job or to be an employer participating. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Assemblywoman. Thank you.